Welcome, my name is Miriam Haukibu. I am a Norwegian illustrator. Today I'll draw this cute chicken for you guys and I will of course add some tips and tricks as we go. As you can see, I started with a pretty light yellow color. I'm now gently mapping out the areas on the chicken where I want the shadow to go. I am imagining a light source up until the right of the drawing, so that will leave a small shadow down to the left. I will also quickly explain to you why I'm using the curved shape on my lines. So I made this quick sketch just to show you guys why I'm using the lines that I'm doing. I'm using a curved line for the shadow and the shape of the bird and that's basically just to give it some fullness and roundness. And as you can see on my quick and pretty weird sketcher that if you do a straight line the object will appear more flat. So it's just to get our bird nice and rounded. So back to our drawing. I'm still using pretty light colors as you can see and the reason for that is that it's easier to go from light to dark while using color pencils. And in addition I feel like the layer process adds a great amount of depth to a drawing. So here I'm just quickly showing you how you can use the direction of your lines and a bit rough lines to just create movement and maybe a sense of a fluffy and a bit whimsical bird. So the cool thing about drawing a bird and especially a fluffy and weird one is that you don't have to be super precise about your lines. You can draw outside the lines and you can basically just add a couple of lines to add the impression of feather and yeah, just give him that odd and great look. So for his feet I'm going to do a really simple version. Basically I'll just draw three claws on each foot and I'll try to be mindful of the shadow I have on the rest of the bird. So lighter on one side and darker on the opposite. So for the eyes I'm keeping the upper right on each eye lighter because that's where the light reflection is coming off and then I'll build darker around the light reflection and on the opposite that will be the bottom left side I will keep it lighter that would just basically give an impression of yeah just the shape of the eyes and give it more life it will appear more lifelike for a cartoon character. So for the pupil I'm doing something really really cool and weird. I'm using red color actually and then I will go to a green color that's very rich. I think it's called grass green and basically these two are complementary contrasts and they reflect and absorb different waves of uh, light. So basically adding both of them at the same surface on the paper will give an impression of a really dark and rich shade. So as I used red and green on the pupils, if I need to go in and darken them, I will do that with dark purple or dark blue. And the reason for that is that I'm using color theory to basically make darker shades and they seem almost black, but I'm not using any black in my drawings. For me, it helps me to create depth in the drawing and it also helps me to keep the vibrancy in the color pencils really alive on the paper. Time to make the eyes pop. I am adding turquoise and the additional shade really adds some depth to it. In addition you will see me adding some lines towards the pupil to mimic the effect you will see in a real eye. So the next I'll do is to add some blue and orange to create some darker areas and add some depth to the bird. So that was it for my first YouTube tutorial with a caption. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching.